Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video today on the channel, and today, in the spirit of the December season, Christmas is finally coming upon us, I thought we'd talk about a Christmas movie that just got released called The Holdovers. I wanted to make a very quick review of this movie, because I honestly think this movie is honestly something special, and I don't see nearly enough people talking about it. It just got released in theaters, I think it was about two weeks ago, I saw it last week, but I really wanted to give my thoughts on the movie, because I actually think this movie is a new Christmas classic. Like, I really like this movie. I thought it was fantastic in a lot of different ways, and I want to share that with my audience today and recommend it to you. And just to give a quick description of what The Holdovers is about, this film is set in the 1970s and is about a cranky history teacher who is forced to watch a rebellious student with nowhere left to go over the holidays. So the two naturally begin to develop a bond and try to make the best out of their current situation. This is honestly just one of my favorite times of the year. I love so many of the movies that get released this time of year, and I rewatch so many of them, especially the good ones, you know. Stuff like Elf, Arthur Christmas, I've seen Scrooge a few times, I'm not a huge fan of it, but hey, it exists, and stuff like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I'm gonna be honest, The Holdovers is a movie that I didn't have a whole lot of expectations going into, because I didn't know that much about it, you know, I was just like, oh, this could just be a cozy little family fun movie, and it definitely isn't like, I guess, for kids per se, but I think this is a really good Christmas movie that I think actually may become a new staple this time of year. Like, it's actually really good, and it has a really good heart to it. This movie is just the perfect feel-good Christmas movie. It's a very warm film meant to make you feel things in the best possible way. There's a lot of emotion in this movie, like there is a lot of emotional moments, specifically towards the end of the movie, which I may or may not have cried at. I did cry a little bit. I was not expecting it. I'm a man, but a man can cry, so that's, that's what happened with me. Don't make fun of me, I swear to God. But obviously the film really knows how to pull at your heartstrings. It's incredibly down to earth and it's just nothing like in terms of a spectacle. It's nothing like huge, you know, you don't have Santa Claus riding in on the reindeers or anything. It's just a very close to home movie that's very down to earth and very relatable, I feel, to a lot of people. And it's just a nice little cozy movie that has such a charm to it. Like it has a really specific feel about it and it was great. It was honestly such a great little Christmas movie about this cranky history teacher learning the Christmas spirit and also forming a bond with one of his students that has had a really rough go in life and him trying to make his Christmas as good as it can be. It was honestly a really great premise. It was just a nice little simple story that I really love. This movie is also starred by Paul Giovanni, which if you haven't seen him already, uh, the only thing I can recognize him from is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Um, so that wasn't a great first introduction to him, but honestly the actor really is talented And I know that because so many other people have told me I haven't really seen a whole lot from this actor But I really loved his performance in this movie He definitely plays the grumpy history teacher super well like at the beginning of the movie You really just don't really like this guy like he has a certain charm about him that like some of those grumpy teachers are like Oh, you got to do this and they're very smart and stuff and they're very sarcastic And he was actually really funny in that regard during the beginning of the movie. He was a really funny character to watch even though he wasn't the most nice person on the planet but once the film really starts to get going and you see this guy's true colors come out and slowly change change his tune it was really heartwarming I really loved his performance throughout the entire movie and I also really loved his relationship with Dominic Sisa throughout the film who is the young boy who he's babysitting throughout the holiday season I thought their chemistry was really great especially getting closer to the end of the movie where they're kind of going on their own little thing and own little adventure it's great it's very heartwarming like I said and Dominic Cecil was fantastic in the movie. He added a lot of really good emotional moments closer to the end of the film that I actually didn't think that they would go to. It actually surprised me a little bit in terms of what they set up his, I guess, backstory to be in the movie and why he acts the way he does. And honestly, it was heartbreaking. Like, in such a unique way that I haven't felt in a while. Like, this, this sort of plot line, I feel, doesn't really get brought up a whole lot. And I'm glad it got addressed in this movie because it was actually a really heartfelt moment in the movie and very sad like it's a very sad movie closer to the end of the movie and also like I said this movie was technically set in the year of 1970 so doing so they actually give the film almost a little bit of like a grainy filter over it to almost give you the feel that it's an older film and I honestly think that was a great decision on their part it gives it a very specific feel where it feels very old and it feels like a classic but it doesn't come off like also almost like a cheap trick you know like oh we're just doing this so we can kind of blindside 
at you for a mid movie, you know? No, it's not that. But honestly, that was all the points I really had for the holdovers. I really think this movie is something special. I think this movie could be an oncoming classic. I had a great time with this movie. It doesn't really have any huge flaws. It's just a really fun, down-to-earth Christmas movie, and that's why I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. I highly recommend this movie to anyone watching this video. It's very funny. Maybe not around the kids. There are some moments where it's a little met much, but I really don't think it's too bad at all. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw here and you want to see more, please like and subscribe down below for more content on the channel coming pretty damn soon, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. See ya.